Good morning, it is Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold. Market opens up here in a little over a minute, uh, and we'll see what happens. Did make a quick little trade, actually screwed up SPHS um, this morning. Uh, it totally shook me out of it before making a, a move up to over $4. You can see right there, actually got in for $3, uh, and then it shook me out. Um, and yeah, it, it played me like a fiddle and then it went up over $4. So, uh, it is what it is, but uh, that was this morning in pre-market. So, uh, market now opens up here in less than one minute. So I will keep you updated. All right. Looking to potentially buy this pullback here on LGF. I have an opening order of uh, 500 shares at 39.61. And now back over 40. So we'll see what happens here. And now it's pulling back some more. I will keep you updated. All right, have an order in the short. My initial position up there at 30.25. So I got those. And I will look to build a bigger position if possible. Or look to, all right, so I got, uh, let's see, 100 of those shares off. So looking like I may be able to build bigger. So I'm gonna put some more orders up there. Still just small size. So let's see what happens here. I didn't move up my cover order to just 30, 20 at this point. Obviously not the best first entry point, so I just gotta acknowledge that. Uh, you know, I'm not worried about anything, uh, but uh, that initial entry point definitely could have been better. So now it's just a matter of seeing if it wants to, you know, head back up to those highs and let me, and all out there. So, but I'm, I'll gladly start all over again the process so let's start back over the process. If it wants to get back up here, we'll go 3085. So if it heads back up, I'm gonna just restart that whole process over again. But like I said, um, 3025 wasn't a terrible entry, obviously, because I was still able to make money from it, but was not the ideal entry so that's why you know sometimes you just got to acknowledge when you don't get the uh, uh, you know the, the ideal entry and then just kind of adjust so that's what i had to do there but uh, i would love to start over again so we'll see what happens all right it's approaching uh the break of 31 so let's see i have my first order in at 31 35 so let's see if i can get that or not maybe it was a little too aggressive with that one We'll see if it can push back up through there or not. All right, I will pause it, but I do have an order out there to short and you know restart what I was doing before at 31.35. There we go, getting some movement there. Ah, it's trying, just not quite getting up there. All right, I will pause it. All right, I'm looking to pick up some shares on W at, and I am in. So let me scatter out some orders there. I'm looking to build and willing to build a bigger position. All right, so I got 200 shares left. Now the problem with this one is uh, you know, it's a big, big, big spread. So it's going to be hard to kind of there we go. I'll move that up to figure out where to put my stop. But I'm good now no matter what. So I'm all out there um, for $66. was a big spread, like I said, so it was hard to kind of uh, figure out where exactly I could put uh, my stop loss. But worked out nicely, and I'm actually interested again if it wants to keep moving down. So... Once I go down to 4201, I'll start the process all over again. I will keep you updated. But 
a quick little $66 there, so I'm happy with that trade. Uh, $66 in the matter of a few minutes. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, have an order in at $41.60 to do what I did the previous time. So we'll see if it can get down there or not. It's uh, 10.03 right now, so I'd like to be wrapping things up here. I got some other things I'd like to work on, but I do like the setup here. So I'm willing to give this uh, an opportunity here to get down there. I will keep you updated. All right, I'm giving this one another run. <clears throat> first, <clears throat> excuse me, first order at 39.51. So we'll see if it can get down there or not. I will keep you updated. All right, I picked up, nope, that was too fast. Uh, picked up some shares real quick. Uh, this was just a level two move along with some candlestick formation. Um, I'm not gonna get into a whole level two lesson here, but this was strictly a level two trade. Um, it happened pretty quick, but I was just sitting here pretty pretty laser focused and uh, I noticed you know what I, th I think I could capture a quick little I like to call it kind of a $50 on the street move meaning if I'm walking down the street and I see a $50 bill sitting there um, Yes, I'm gonna take 15 seconds to bend down and pick that up. So, you know, this trade literally took uh, let's see put it in at uh, 13 or put it in at 10 13 16 sold it at 10 13 23 so seven seconds uh, you know, I'll take seven, I'll take fifty dollars in seven seconds all day long. Uh, yes, it's uh, uh, you know you can see right now. Well, if you would have held, well, that was not the plan. Like I said, it was a get in, get out plan. Um, and you know, hindsight may have you say, well, you, you should have, you should still be in. And that's true. If I was still in, I would be making more money. However, that would imply that I broke my plan. And breaking plans, even if it results in a winning trade, that's a terrible habit to be forming. So. Um, Sorry, just watching this, but yeah. So that was like I said. Uh, sometimes I'll do, you know. Uh, I just like that's how I picture it in my mind. If I saw a fifty-dollar bill sitting on the ground, would I reach down and pick it up? And yeah, I, absolutely, I would. So that's what I did. It took me seven seconds to pick that fifty-dollar bill up off the um, off the ground. So that's what I did real quick um, for you know just a quick ten-cent move there. Again, yes, I realized if I would have held, I could have uh, you know done better, but that was not the plan. It is actually 10:15 a.m. on the dot right now, so 45 minutes in, up $169. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but you know, I, I was pretty focused. I was trying to get in on things, and I just could not get filled. So, um, kind of a frustrating morning. The good news is it's only 45 minutes into the day, um, so we'll see what the rest of this day brings. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video, and uh, real quick, want to talk about one more thing, and that revolves around the. You know, top question I always get, you know, how do I find the stocks that I'm trading? So how did I find these stocks that you saw me trade in this video right here? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that you see me trading, uh, you know, that I think have some potential. So if that sounds like something that could add some value to you as a trader, then go ahead and click right there and I will email you the guide. It's a one page thing. So it's not going to take you. It's not like it's multiple chapters where you got to read through a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's very time efficient. And, uh, you know, if it can help you out, awesome. Like I said, totally free. Just click right there, sign up, and I'll email it to you. So thank you for watching. Uh, get out there, trade without emotion, and remember, follow your plans.